So the bottom line is this, guys. No more than the price of that Craftsman versus the Wea. My personal opinion is this. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what I'm gonna do is I wanna talk about two different screwdrivers. Now, you saw them in the thumbnail, and... You see that bug? So, you saw them in the thumbnail, and... Okay. Anyway, let's start over. So, man, what the heck? All right, guys. So you saw them in the thumbnail, and what I want to do is I want to talk to you about these screwdrivers, all right? Now, I'm not sponsored by either one of these, so both of these are my opinions on how I feel about these screwdrivers, and I think once I get going and showing you guys a little bit about these screwdrivers, I'm going to take this receptacle out of here, and just so you know, everything here is completely dead, so just keep that in mind as we're watching the video. So I want to talk to you a little bit about these screwdrivers and why I decided to buy it. Now, guys, if you follow my channel for any length of time, you guys know that I don't follow the normal protocol. I mean, I go from, you know, my name is Mountain Outdoors. I love the outdoor stuff, but I'm doing all kinds of different things throughout my channel, from, you know, vlogging to vacationing to whatever, you know, Ryan's Roses, anything like that. So I don't necessarily follow just one niche because that's not me. And I appreciate you guys that follow me, always give me that thumbs up. So if my content has ever given you guys any value, please smash that thumbs up. Like and make sure you subscribe. All right, so what I wanna do is, like I said, these people right now, it is in April right now, and a lot of people are testing these screwdrivers, that electric screwdrivers. Well, I thought, well, hey, that's a pretty good idea. So I decided to order one that I had to wait a long time for, and then I ordered one that I could get. So in the meantime, I thought, all right, let me watch some of these videos of these screwdrivers to see if one is better than the next, you know, and you don't buy these screwdrivers like this to drive three inch screws. I mean, but a lot of these channels, they're driving in screws and I'm like, that's not why you buy these. A drill is for screws or impact, whatever. This is like to put in receptacles, you know, to take receptacles out, you know, to work on your lights, stuff like that. But I see a lot of people saying, well, you know, this won't even drive a three inch screw. Well, duh, it's not, it's not going, it's not, it's not what it's made for. So this is the first one I bought. And I actually ordered them both at the same time. Uh, I bought this one. And I bought this one. Now this is the Weeha. I guess that's how you say it. Uh, you know, this is a high dollar screwdriver. This is about a 46 or a 39 dollar. Might be 39 dollars, I can't remember. Uh, links for this one will be down in the description and this one too if they still have it on Amazon where you can pick these up. If you buy them from my link, it will help my channel grow and not charge you any more money than normal. Now. I thought this would be a super awesome item because it was so much more money. So this one was expensive. This was in the $300 range. And this one here, like I say, was in the $40 range. So I had a chance to use both of them. I've had them for a while now. And I want to make a, what I would consider a review on them and tell you what I think of them. Now, what I'm gonna do, these both are, are completely charged. Both have fresh batteries in them. They're both rechargeable, so you don't have to re take any batteries out. Well, not this one anyway. That one you have to take a battery out, and I will show you in a minute after we get going. So this one right here, I got it on Amazon, and it's pretty nice. I mean, it's just a regular, you know, screwdriver. Well, it looks like a screwdriver. You know, you can take the bits out if you want to make them shorter. You can take and put the bit in, you know, and then you have a really stubby screwdriver. It's got a light on it. I'm not going to give a whole review of this has this, this has much torque and blah, 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 because there's enough videos out there. I'm not, I'm not that person. You buy these screwdrivers for a reason. And that for, I bought this screwdriver in particular to put in switches, to put in receptacles, to put in plates on receptacles, or switches and so on and so forth. So I've had a chance to use both of them, like I mentioned, and I'm gonna show you guys real world scenarios here. This box has been up here for quite a while. All right, this is a receptacle that I've done on this video, on this panel. And if you guys have not seen any of that, series or anything check up here in the corner guys because you can link back to a lot of different videos of how to mount the panel how to put a breaker in how to pull the wire blah 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 so regardless this has been taken in and out numerous times so the grooves are already in this plastic box so no matter how many more times i take it out or put it in it's not going to get any easier and it's not going to get any harder unless it gets hot and then melts stuff you know because a screw going in and out so we're going to take the screws out of this with this one, and I'm gonna show you, bring you up close, and then I'm gonna take the Weeha out. I'll, I'll give you a little presentation of that one before, like I did with this one, and I'll let you see that, and then you guys can see me take it out, so on and so forth. All right, so without further ado, 
let's go ahead and take this screwdriver and take that receptacle so, out. Like I said, the off or the forward and reverse buttons are right here, so it makes it super easy. We'll take the bottom one out first. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take them all the way out so you guys can see. All right, so there it is, it's out. We'll take this one out. Anyway, we're gonna put it back in now, so I'm really not gonna talk, am I? All right, let's put it back in. All right, here we go. We'll put it back in, and we'll run it in. Okay, that's the top one. And here is the bottom one. Now the bottom one's gonna be a little harder because it's got a little tab on it that self-grounds the receptacle. No problems. Okay, so you see how that went. Pretty smooth, right? I mean, it was pretty much no, no issue with that. Now, with this Weeha, what you get is, you get a, now, every video I saw said, oh, you get a really nice box. Well, it is a box. I'm not gonna say, oh, it's so nice. It's not a Pelican box, I can tell you that but it does keep it safe. It's pretty thin, but it's not like, you know, it's not terrible. So what you do is you open it up and this is what comes in it. Now I got a few other things in here, but um, so this is what it comes in. You got a screwdriver, an extra battery, the battery charger, and it comes with two bits. And of course I have the Torx bit, uh, the Torx screwdriver, which that's gonna be a different video, but this is the Speed E2 guys. And it's already got the Phillips tip in it. And like I said, you know, these are both completely charged. Um, this is what it looks like. This is a Speedy 2. It's made in Germany. Now, little thing about this is, uh, you know, the reason why I got it is because most German stuff, cars, airplanes, so on and so forth, are very good, high quality. So I thought, you know, $46, this was, you know, $300 range. I thought, this has got to be way better because, I mean, come on, it's from Germany for one. All right, so what you got is you have a battery. 18500, so if you have an 18650, it's not going to go in there because these are 18... 500s. So these are proprietary, obviously. Um, it's what it looks like inside. You put your battery in here. Like I said, I'm not going to go over, you know, if it's a thousand volt rated, blah, blah, blah. I'll leave all that stuff down below. And then anyway, you got lights. And then how you run this one is you, you turn it right here. So you, so you kind of just roll it one way or the other. And with both of these screwdrivers, if they go dead, you can still use it like a regular screwdriver. You have a minimum and a max. So we'll leave it on minimum first because that other one that I have, the Craftsman one has no minimum. It's just go or no go. So let's bring a little closer here. We'll take the same screws out. I mean, it's, you see they're back in the box. We'll leave it on minimum first and I'll okay. show you. So let's take the bottom ones out first. That's minimum, keep in mind. All right, now I'm gonna change to maximum at the top. So we'll just push this up, all right, like that, and we'll take this out. All right, so that's that, speedy two. So we'll put them back in. We'll drive one on maximum. All right. And we'll take one, we'll put it on minimum, and we'll put this top one back in like that. And that's that. I hope you could hear the motors running in these screwdrivers. Now, to look at them both, you know, they both look really nice this one's a little short as you can see but not by much but actually when you put them cap to cap there this one's a little longer so this one's a little shorter now which one feels better in my hand well honestly the craftsman uh you know i've run a lot of receptacles in with this and a lot in with this and i've had more issues putting receptacles in with this than i have with this when these boxes are new and you first put your first screw in there this really struggles to put them in. And I don't know why. I mean, you would think that it would have more torque and it'd be better, but I'm gonna tell you guys, for the price, I'm really let down. You know, 
It is high voltage rated, where this one probably is not. I don't know where this one's rated to. It probably doesn't even tell you, but if you're gonna be in hot circuits and such, this is probably your go-to, but, you know, or even 120 volt, 24 volt, whatever. But, you know, this one here, I'm gonna have to say, in my own opinion, is probably better than this one. The only good thing about this one is when the battery goes dead, I can swap for another battery, you know, and I can put that one on charge, yada, yada, yada. So, my pick of these two screwdrivers, obviously, is the Craftsman. I mean, you know, I got both of them, you know, and like I said, you know, I bought both of them. And, you know, between these two, well, the Craftsman is the winner. And it, it does drive screws a lot quicker. Uh, it doesn't. Like when it gets to the end, it doesn't, well, you heard it, but when it's a new box, it doesn't do that. It's kind of almost stops, kind of like this does, so you don't strip it out. I still love both of them, and I still think this is a good item. I really do. But if you're gonna be wiring houses and such, don't buy this, because you're gonna be PO'd. Either buy this or just use a regular drill. If you're gonna be in the market for one of these, and you have the extra money, then you may wanna get this but get both of them because I think you'll be more impressed with this one. Plus, if you don't like this one, you can send it back to Amazon. I mean, for the price difference, which is considerable, you know what I'm saying? So, is it really, do you really get what you pay for? I mean, you got pretty lights here, but I got pretty lights here too. I would still think this one is the winner, hands down. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this right here. So if my channel has ever given you guys any, I know I said this already once, any value, please smash that thumbs up, guys. That really means a lot to me. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see what happens next. All right, guys. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.